But gents, we now move on to our eighth and final team for tonight's preview show. Our neighbours here in the West Midlands, Worcestershire County Cricket Club. In terms of transfers, we'll start with the, the players who have come in to the pairs for 2022. The marquee signing, of course, Azar Ali. Former Pakistan captain, does not get much better than that. Got so much county experience for Somerset as well. Then they brought in the likes of Ben Gibbon from Cheshire. We spoke to him on the podcast. Pretty good young bowler. Watch out for him. Very, very strong action. Again, quite repeatable. And he does get wickets, as he showed in the National Counties in 2021. And then, I'm not sure whether these two will feature in the Red Bull side, but you've got Taylor Cornell. He's come in from Lancashire. And then Ed Pollock has made the switch from the Bears to the Pairs. But I think he'll be more towards the, the white ball outfit, to be honest. In terms of departures, some big ones for Worcestershire. First and foremost, the club legend, Daryl Mitchell, has retired. Ross Whiteley has gone to Hampshire. And Alex Milton has been released. I hope Alex comes back one day. Genuinely, I thought he had a very, very promising career in county cricket. But yeah, somehow hasn't got a club in 2022. So we'll have to wait and see if he can get selected at some point. But in terms of the pairs then, Dustin, I'll start with you because you had some experience facing them last mm -hmm. summer. Strengths and weaknesses. How do you assess the pairs? heading into Division 2 this year? Um, strengths, they've got a fantastic little bowling unit, I think. Um, uh, Ed Barnard is, is he probably solidifies a nice all-rounder position for them. I think he performed really well for them last year. I think uh, I think they got exciting young talents in Dylan Pellington. He, he I thought I found him bowling. I, found, I thought he bowled really well, particularly against us. It was it was a wicket that wasn't doing a hell of a lot, and he ran in and he hit the wicket hard. And he just seemed like he's he's a fantastic little cricketer, um, specifically from the bowling point of view. Um, I do think a big strength of theirs with uh, Joe Leach, obviously doing what he does. Um, He's a stalwart for them, um, and he's and he's been for a long time. Uh, so I do think that they've got a lovely little seam uh, seam attack. And from from a batting point of view, look, I think they've got a lot of potential. Um, they did show a lot of that potential against us, particularly last year. Um, it's, uh, it's it's difficult because I mean I, I feel I've, I found that they could have they could have done with proper all like all in all spinner. I know um De Oliveira does does do that job slightly for them, but I've always I've always found that they, they could do with the all in all spinner. Um someone who sp sp specifically works in that department. Um and they could they could value from someone doing that. Uh but really like I've always I've always found them a very gritty, very scrappy side. Um, they play for each other. It's clear to see. It's clear to see that they they're all good friends and um, and they're close knit, close knit team. Um, they spend a lot of time in the field. I know at at, um, at Worcester because it is quite a flat wicket and it, those times is where you come together the most, really. Um, and you can see that you can see that with them, and they resonate, and it resonates. So from from our perspective, like the unity as a team is a strength because um, it means they fight for each other. Uh, I think their seam, seam departments um, covered, really. That's a great point, to be honest, Dustin. Again, it's an intangible. You can't measure it with stats, but they are a very, very good unit. As you mentioned, Worcestershire usually are, to be fair, though, because they have that mm -hmm. community sense around the club, a bit like Derbyshire and Leicestershire, to be honest. And they have got some really, really good options in 2022. Jake Libby, who I was shocked, to be honest, to see him not make the Lions squad after scoring 1,075 runs at 56.57. He was fantastic. Joe Leach as well with the ball, always reliable. For Worcestershire, 38 wickets at 30.02. And Ed Barnard, he continues to impress. And he's only in his mid-20s as well. If Worcestershire can keep hold of him, you've got potentially a decade of Ed Barnard dominance. So... Yeah, we'll have to wait and see how he fares in the rest of his career, but definitely someone to watch out for. Ben Cox with the gloves, one of the best in the entire country. So all in all, Worcestershire have got a nice mix. They really have. But the thing which could go against them, as you mentioned rightly so there, Dustin, is the spin option. And I think that they could have done with a, a top quality spinner. They tried it with Ish Sodi last, last summer, I think, and he played one game against Warwickshire, took six wickets. At New Road, funnily enough, 
I just feel like that's something they could have invested in. It would have been difficult to balance the side. I can see why they've gone with Dolivera as the main option. But I do think just as someone to apply that pressure, tighten the metaphorical screw, I think they could have done with a spinner. With that being said, you've got Dolivera, Josh Baker, someone to watch out for as well. Very, very impressive as part of the England Under-19 World Cup squad. So we'll have to wait and see how those two fare in 2022. And one other thing as well, and granted this might be due to the surface, new road is basically what it says on the tin, is a little bit of a road at times, it can be very flat. But only two of Worcestershire's 12 bowlers in 2021 averaged less than 30 with the ball, which when you compare that to elite attacks, the likes of Warwickshire, Nottinghamshire, Durham, not really comparable. So that's something which Worcestershire could definitely look at uh, improving, shall we say, heading into this upcoming summer. With that being said, though, Matt, we'll round off with you for Worcestershire. Player to watch out for. Who would you select and why? Who do you think will be the real key factor, the key cog of the pairs in 2022? Well, I think you've mentioned him there. And to be honest, it's almost explained it why. And I, I was thinking about Brett Oliveira um, because because they will depend on him so much in terms of the spin option. And I mean, um, you, you know, again, you both mentioned about New World being an absolute world. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it's just, I don't know why that's the case. I don't know if it's because it floods. I don't know all about the, the geometrics of it and, and why, it, why it is so flat. Um, but, it, but it is, but it doesn't even seem to break up. It doesn't even seem to take a bit of spin. It just seems like you can bat on it for four days. And so whether it does start, if, if it does start to break, if it does start to dry out, say if you get, you know, two or three days where it's really hot um, in the middle of summer uh, and it does start to break up, then that spin option becomes an option. And if Dolavira then, there's a lot of weight put on his shoulders. Um, so if he impresses, then he can perhaps win them, you know, win them a game that they might not otherwise have won. And with there only being eight teams, in, in the division, you know, we've had this thing in the county championship for as long as it's been two divisions. You know, you can finish four and be a long, long way off the promotion chair. And it's the fact that this, you know, because there's not very many teams in it, you know, if, if you take, for example, a quick look at a football league table, you finish seventh, you think, oh, that's a really good season. It's not in the championship, you know, it's next to bottom. So, and the fact that if they can, if they do win a game that they wouldn't otherwise have won, then that can make all the difference come the uh, come the end of the season it most certainly can Matt and I know this is a little bit slightly off topic but how nice is it to see the surname Dolivera with the captain's armbands at Worcestershire County Cricket Club a surname which is just it's covered in prestige history glory tradition and is synonymous with that great cricketing institution so wishing Brett the best of luck to be honest as captain I know obviously it means an awful lot to him to represent the club as the skipper. And if things can click again, Worcestershire, we'll have to wait and see. Could they contend? Absolutely. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see what county cricket has in store for us heading into this summer. 